everyone. So this week we will be talking about Ezra and Nehemiah. We're combining the two stories, two lessons together um, because chronologically they happen uh, at about the same time and it's a good ending to our Old Testament. Um, so these will be the last two of the Old Testament and next week will be a lot of fun. We're going to have um, a review of the past however many weeks that we've had, and then start on the New Testament. Um, so this week we will be making um, temples and walls out of graham crackers, frosting, and marshmallows. So this is going to be a lot of fun for the kids. Um, so what we're going to start off with is um, the baggie. You're going to put some frosting in the baggie. We're just going to cut the tip of the baggie off to make um, like a piping bag but these baggies are a little bit different so be very careful not to cut too much off or you'll have it squeezing out in a lot <laughs> so just a little bit at the end and I think I might have cut mine too big already actually because it is folded over so if you a, this is gonna be really hard to show you so hopefully I will have all of them pre-cut um, but yes so you're gonna have to really just the very teeny tiny end and then um, just scoop some frosting stick it in right here um, and then they can use their graham crackers and um, I bought a lot of graham crackers, but we should try to keep the kids to maybe like two full cracker sheets a piece, two and a half maybe, um, and let them use their imagination as far as like, it doesn't have to be house shaped, it can be whatever. And if some of the, the um, crackers get broken, it's no big deal. They can use the broken ones and put icing to make them fit together. Um, yeah, so let kids be as creative as they want to be with this. Um, yeah, so it, it can be a lot of fun. And uh, mine probably is going to end up looking more like a Snoopy dog house, but <laughs> um, it's still a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, they can just do whatever they want with what they think the temple was like that Ezra um, came back from Babylon to help build and then um, after they get the temple done um, they're definitely gonna want to let it yeah let don't touch it for a little while <laughs> but um, then they can use the marshmallows and just put a little bit of frosting on the bottom if you even need to and then just stick them along the bottom of their plate because each one will have a plate and they'll take home their plate with it. And there goes my wall. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this is pretty much it. Like I said, the kids will have as much imagination as they want and just go to town building. They're probably going to do more eating than building, but try to keep it to a minimum because this will be a lot of sugar for the kids to have before they get going home um, so this is pretty much it and there you have a temple with well you can't really see my marshmallow wall here but um, it's there it's on the white plate <laughs> they can even make it um, like two layers if they want like build on top of each other um, yeah just whatever whatever the kids are feeling like doing there um, but so this is just a, a fun kind of craft to remind them of the story of Ezra and Nehemiah and how God used them to be great leaders and to bring the people together and to do God's work and all of the wonderful things that we can do together if we work together as um, God's family and his children. So that is our craft for this week. <laughs> 